G'day mate, welcome back to Dyson Sphere with me, Jilly, and of course, the wonderful Mr. Icarus. And today, today we need to move on with the next science pack. We have automated blue, we've automated red uh, twice, twice, because I want to automate red from, like, you know, your, your, your mid-game where you could just import the materials that you wanted, like hydrogen and uh, obviously coal, which we can't import on this planet, because, um... This planet doesn't really have any coal, and what coal it does have, we're turning straight into proliferated juice. At least then we have a use for it. Uh, and then we have the, the, the early game, which brings in directly oil and converts everything into all the products we need for red science. But today, I want to move on and I want to do yellow. Now, yellow, yellow is a little bit more tricky, okay? Yellow requires diamonds and also requires titanium crystals. Now... Diamonds we're going to talk about first. We have two options. We can either get diamonds, get diamonds from uh, energetic graphite, which means it comes from graphite, graphene, uh, blah, 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 blah. graphite, graphite. I was right. Or we can get it from kimberlite ore. Uh, when it comes to the titanium crystals, we're going to make those no matter what. But the organic crystal we can either get from uh, plastic with some refined oil with some water. Or, our other option is we can actually dig it straight out of the ground. So, technically, I have to make this blueprint twice as well. One for early game, you know, before you can actually fly off world and go and get things, because that's sort of part of yellow science. And, well, and you probably need warpers, so it's sort of green science. It's sort of late game, later game, mid game, mid game. It all depends on how you look at your, your game stages. But, you definitely have to fly off world to get organic crystals. So, I need to build this blueprint twice. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to do I'm going to do two blueprints actually, uh, and we'll do mm, nope. First up, we're going to do uh, the late game one because that's so much easier bringing in resources, and then we'll do the early game one. So uh, two towers are going to be required because we're going to need well. We're going to need warpers. We're going to need yellow science export. We're going to need juice. Okay, plus we need to make yellow science. We need to make titanium crystals, which obviously require titanium. And we also need, actually, let's, 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 well, it's fine. We can work out the orders later. And we're going to need organic crystal to make titanium crystal. On this side, we need just one item, being kimberlite ore, to make our yellow science, to make our diamonds. Okay, so unfortunately, we need six items. Which means we need two towers. But that's the easy part. Uh, the other thing I want to do is I want to build this one backward. So we're going to start out here. I need to have 10 laps. 10 laps? 15 laps. 15 laps. Okay. Uh, which means I'm going to build each one of these three times tall. Now, I could make them much taller and all sorts of other things. But I really want this available sort of early game. Or for a speedrun attempt. This is sort of why we're building these blueprints at the same time. So, if you were to speedrun the game, you'd skip out on a lot of research. Because you just don't need it. One of the ones you'd be skipping out is vertical construction. Because you just don't need it. Well, you'd possibly stick, uh, skip out on uh, So, I've done all the research. So, we can make labs 15, tiles to, uh, 15, 15 items high. And there's six researchers. Each one adds plus two to labs. So, it means six researchers, two each, 12 total... Which means, right from square one, you can build things, uh, build labs three tiles high. So we're going to keep it to three tiles. Okay, nice and simple. We're also going to bring in an import this way and an import this way with an export at the back. We're also going to turn off that so we don't have to see things flashing. We're going to set you guys to do yellow science. Okay, so one of these, we'll just mark this one, is going to be diamonds, 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 diamonds. And you are going to be titanium crystal. Okay, so with that out of the way, again, I want to base, base these designs off making four science per second, but realistically doing three science per second, okay? Uh, no, two science per second. So I want to make them around being two science per second with the option to upgrade them later to four science per second. So, diamonds. Diamonds are this recipe, okay? Uh, again, we're also going to proliferate everything, so we need to keep that into account as well. 
And as a quick look at the mass means I need four of these guys. Actually, we'll have them hard up against one another because we'll put a power pole here and a power pole here. Uh, and that's going to be our diamond output belt. That makes life easy. Uh, and actually, you know what? Just to squeeze everything in, we're going to intentionally put our kimberlite ore uh, Kimberlite, 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 uh, over there. We're also going to turn on the headlights, uh, so we don't have to deal with darkness, and that sh should be one of the two products covered. Which is good. It's convenient. We're, we're, we're charging along. Okay. Let's come over to this side, and... Oh! No. No, because I need to proliferate these guys. Okay. So, what we actually need to do is we need to have a belt that goes up here. Plus, a belt that goes up here and turns around. Uh, and you are going to be... Oh, copy. Copy. You're going to be diamonds. You can be kimberlite ore. Which will then bring down to here. Then we want our smelters. Uh, one, two, three, four... Uh, when we need four, four, four science per second. No, we need three. My bad, we need three. Uh, well. <sighs> okay, for two science per second. I need 1.9. 1.09, actually. So I need just more than one. Okay. Okay. And the idea is I can pop down these blueprints and not have to think about it. And we just have to double everything if we want double the production. So if I want to go from two science to four science, I literally just have to double a blueprint. Okay. So technically, as we did 1.09, we'd need 2.18. Right. So not a lot. But as I can't point build a half a smelter to start with, um, we're going to have to have a little bit of overproduction just to keep future JD and anybody who else wants this blueprint's life easier. So this will technically overproduce. But overproducing is perfectly fine. Okay. Uh, as for titanium crystal, we need eight machines. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with the line comes in here, juiced, and goes out. And copy that and put it over there. Okay. So, I'm going to leave a one tail gap. So we can get four machines in. Actually, we're going to leave a two tail gap. Two tail gap. So we can bring that in there. That way I can put a power pole here to cover this side and a power pole here to cover this side. Okay. You guys are going to be doing titanium crystal. All right. And I want you to output <coughs> onto that belt. Okay. That's the easy part so far. Uh, now you guys need two inputs. One being titanium, one being organic crystal. So we're going to go import, import. We're going to go in. Nope. In from the edge, in from the side. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three. That's it. Export. And like so. We'll move that power pole to there. We'll move that power pole to there and there and there. And you, that belt gets removed. You're going to be organic crystal. That one. And you're going to be titanium. Now. Yeah. Uh, obviously, organic crystal is going to come in somewhere over here and be proliferated. And then that just leaves our titanium. Now, titanium, I want to bring in actual titanium. I want to bring in titanium ore and I want to smelt it right here and do the pole proliferation and everything else. So, same story. I need to build a titanium smelter. Technically, so these guys, we need eight total. Okay. And then... If you want to double science, you double the speed. You double the speed of the assembler. So we go from an assembler one to an assembler three, and we double the production speed. Technically, you can do the same with the smelters, but plain smelters are much much later game than what an assembler three is. So this is why we're we're, we're making that arbitrary decision. Uh, but it also means that I need to get uh, 
I need to get smelters to titanium. Catch is we actually need we need a lot of titanium. Uh, okay, so let's we can do it all with one output belt. That much I can confirm. Has to be about two output belt to get up to uh, the speed that we need, but that's sort of okay. Uh, if I build, yeah, there's not enough room to get titanium in there. Okay. All right, so that's not gonna work unless we start sliding things around. Um, let's. Okay, let's 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 let's. So this is why I want to do this on video for you guys. I want to go through the design process because I think the design process for a lot of a lot of these games is what makes them as interesting as they are because it's constant problem solving. Okay, so I need to get double speed to get four per second, and the idea is we make everything at four per second, and we just remove half the half the smelters. I need to have a total of fourteen smelters, so that's uh, seven. Um, no. Uh, actually... Actually, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna do something unique. We're gonna have an input belt and an input belt. Then another seven. And that becomes our output belt. Because titanium, the recipe for titanium is two ore for one ingot, okay? So, if we want one belt out, which we, we don't actually need one whole belt out, but we need close to one belt out. Uh, we need close to one belt out, so it means we're going to need two belts in. Okay, so you're gonna be titanium. Uh, we only have so in the, we have oh crap. Is that right? Oh no no no. We have our uh, eight titanium per second, so it's technically more than a level one belt can support. But if you guys are upgrading these to Mark Three assemblers, I'm pretty sure you can afford Mark Two belt. Uh, okay, so then we can copy that and reattach it there. Yeah. Yeah. And then use this tool. And this is one of the reasons I have this tool. So I'm just going to mark the whole lot and say go away. Uh, that goes to there. That goes to there. And then we just need two lots of titanium ore. Titanium ore, there and there. Okay, so then we just need to proliferate everything, plug everything in, and hope that it actually works. All right. So we know we need belts to come out to about this distance, just so I can fit on a proliferator. Okay, so you're going to get moved to there. You're going to get, nope, there to there. Copy that one, paste to paste. Okay, so we know that that is definitely wrong. Uh, we know we need proliferator, proliferator. Okay, uh, titanium, wrong button, goes there. We want to juice that right there. We're gonna juice, not that belt, but that belt and that belt. So that's the organic crystal, which will juice here. That's the titanium crystal, which will juice there and there. That's a titanium belt. So I'm marking all the belts to make it as easy as possible. Uh, for everybody to know what each belt does, I want to remove that because I don't want to mark it there. Uh, and in fact, there's no point to you going that extra loop de loop. Uh, yep. Same with there's no point you doing the extra loop de loop either. Uh, and in fact, we might end up shuffling this up higher. Well, we will see. Okay, that's that, that's that, that's that. Uh, that's Kimberlite or in. Uh, which needs to be marked on that tile, which needs to be proliferated. Uh, and technically, we can leave the 
uh, diamonds right where they are and proliferate them. Why do I always. Let's do the closest one first and then I can't see it, so we end up with a sprayer and a sprayer. Oops. Uh, yes, about that. I need to put a power pole there, 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 oop, there, 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 uh, there, there, and there, and then we turn this on. Everything is actually powered. And I'm not putting a power pole in the middle. All right. Uh, okay. So, hang on, we'll mark that titanium belt. Uh, Alright, in theory, that's done. In theory, that's done. Okay, except towers. Towers are going to be a bit of a nightmare, because we need... We need... We need... We need... Oh! We need that yellow sign to come out. Yellow sign is going to come up the edge, uh, which we'll have to mark on this tile. Yellow. Uh, you guys need some sorters. Now, in theory, because Yellow Science takes eight seconds to craft, uh, and yes, there might be three of them, so we need one item every however many seconds it happens to be, I'm still going to add two sorters on the far belt, okay? It's probably overkill, but I'd prefer to be safe rather than have issues. And actually, I'm not going to copy the output sorter. Because I'm pretty sure I need to look at the power grid and go, oh yeah, that just covers. Okay, so we do have two extra tiles. Because we have two extra tiles, let's move... Let's put a power pole here. Uh, and then output won't matter, because now we've got a power pole right there. Uh, one, two, three, four. That center sorter is looking very precarious. Uh, because, again, the radius is circle. But, but, if you blueprint this blueprint further to the North Pole, or to the South Pole, it's still circular, which means a power pole might suddenly reach half a tile further or half a tile less at one end or the other. So we're going to move those over to the one side or the other. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. In theory, that's done. More importantly, I should be able to come to over here and let's delete some excess belt. And we're going to put... I'm gonna put you here. So that's gonna be our input. This is gonna be our output for juice, because we ha don't have, haven't, haven't actually run the juice belt yet, which we're gonna hit R twice so it goes to a dead straight belt to pass through everything. Uh, you. Uh, hang on, let's mark the belts. So this is another thing I do. I mark the belts right at the end. Right at the end of where the blueprint ends up being. So you're going to be juice. I'm going to grab that juice. Uh, I'm going to put a juice here. Here. Uh, here. Here. And we'll even put one there. So it's clearly defined. Uh, we're going to put that one there. Because that's an in entry point. Uh, which then promptly got removed. But that's okay. We're going to put it back. Don't. No. I want to move that back one time. Uh, just for easier blueprinting later. Yeah. Mm, that time. Okay. Uh, where were we? We need to remove that now. So, your yellow, which goes into there. You are juice, which goes into there. Uh, so we still have free inputs on this one. So we're going to bring out titanium. 
plus titanium, which I need to copy that and put that in that tile and that tile. So, quick recap. We have... We have warpers, okay? Warpers are going to be required. We're going to have yellow science return. We're going to have juice. We're going to have organic crystal. And we're going to have titanium ore. Okay, and then over this side, we only have kimberlite ore. That is our only input. Which means if you were building this yourself and you had another local tower, like one right beside it, you could just steal the juice line and run it into this juice line. Mm, or you could put another tower. Uh, too close, too close, too close, too close. Oh, wow. That's well out of the way. Okay. Alright. What we're going to do is... I'm going to blueprint everything. We're going to hit paste. We're going to remove that tower. And we're going to remove that tower. And we are going to remove literally everything. Yes. I'm going to go paste. We are going to find out what tile that tower's on. Uh, so hard to see this stuff. I really wish you could pick things up by a different corner sometimes. Uh, most of the time. And we're going to pop the whole blueprint there. Okay, so the whole blueprint moved. And, of course, the juice line is not straight. But the important thing is, is a tower straight? Mm, yes, the towers are straight. Can't have everything. Can't have everything. Alright, what we're going to do is... Uh, I'm going to... Definitely. I'm going to take the juice line. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat. Which is one thing I just said to you guys you could possibly do. Uh, take the juice line up over that build. And it's one tile past everything else. Which means it won't show up when I when I make the actual blueprint. Which is very important. Because we haven't actually saved this blueprint yet. And then out of here, what was line number three is now going to be Kimberlite Ball. So, you become Kimberlite Ore. Uh, juice Belt is running. Everything's about to get pre-juiced. Uh, now, the way this is set up, it is designed to do four science per second. Well, it has enough smelting capacity for four science per second. Which means I need to remove some smelters. So, we're going to intentionally remove... Good question. You two. Uh, I need seven of you guys, so we're going to remove like that. Actually, we're going to move you to... One, two, three, four. That way it just becomes that much more obvious that you want to stretch towards yes okay uh so everything's now juiced we're ready to go basically we do need to add shippies and did my request for shippies arrive i didn't have a request for shippies can i have uh, 200 sure 551 not quite 200 but sure all right and definitely make a blueprint so this from here to here is yellow science early no no hang on early game yellow science uh we want yellow i want a layout of three one because we're going to put in that rare material hey one more dyson sphere stress system okay that material and that material uh we want to go yellow, early game yellow science uh two site per second from re oh no actually this is mid game this is mid game Mid game. Uh, mid game, uh, yellow science. Two science per second from rares. Uh, ink 
uh, prolifer oh, just, 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 just mark two juice. Okay, obviously I'll change up the description later, uh, probably with what's required per second input output, because that's something I like having in my blueprints. Um, just makes all the maths easier if you have all those details. And is that everything? Um, I don't need that and that because that's part of a mod. Uh, we do need to add in... No, that's everything. That's everything. Um, I might add into the description at a later stage that, you know, you can double double the smelting, double the... the, 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 the Assemblers double the labs to take it up to four signs per second. But, uh, save blueprint. Uh, so that's there. Mid-game early... Uh, Mid-game science. And then it, all we need to do is, in theory... Uh, find those shippy shippies. Clear. Uh, we're gonna put that there, that there. We're gonna set you to 100%. We're gonna set you nice and low. Uh, local demand, remote supply. We're gonna set you to local demand. Yeah, there's no keyblade or on this one. Uh, okay, storage, remote. Uh, remote, because there's definitely no organic crystal. In fact, I don't think I have organic crystal at all. And then we're also gonna turn on titanium. So, that leaves the question of organic crystal. I'm pretty sure if we go look at, it's not GM, GM? GM, had Kimberlite all. Not a lot, not a lot, but it's enough. Uh, but that means things are not gonna run until we get organic crystals up and running, which is a bit of a problem. But in theory it works. Like, they've only got to come down here and get proliferated. That's it. That's done. That's, that's, it, it, it should work. It should work. But by all means, you know, we, we, we'll go and do something about that. But, um, that was the mid-game one using rare resources. We have a second one that I need to build, which is from early game resources. Uh, I feel bad that there's no yellow science market here at the, re the rear. Doesn't matter. Um, which I have gone and pre-made. Because, honestly... This blueprint took about an hour and a half to make. Uh, let's put it here. And I'm out of 100 bill. Uh, you know what? We're just going to upgrade whatever belt that happens to be to green belt. Now it says I'm out of green belt. I think it's lying to me. I'm pretty sure I have a lot of green belt. I do. Uh, uh, it still says I'm out of belt. Uh, upgrade that one too. Uh, did that work? Uh, hello? Okay, now it definitely worked. Okay, alright. Uh, so we just need to get this built, and this is the same concept, except way, way, way more in depth. Can we get these ones done, please? Okay, they're done. Uh, because we're going to bring in... For early game, we're bringing in actual raw resources. So, for uh, the case of our diamonds, we're actually going to bring in coal. Which we need to smelt into, uh, into, energy, into energy graphite to then turn into diamonds. On top of that, we... The other item, uh, the titanium crystal. We have to bring in titanium. We have to smelt titanium. That's not too hard. But we also need to make organic crystal. Organic crystal requires us to have plastic, which requires refined oil and also water. Obviously, water we're going to have to import in our particular case because we happen to be on a desert planet. But if you're in your home world, you'd probably have water nice and handy. That means we need refined oil, which means we need crude oil, which means we need refineries, which means this blueprint is a massive, massive, massive build. And this is probably why it took me an hour and a half to throw together. So, after Icarus's bots finish building, like, everything... you actually complaining about two belts? No. You are still complaining about some yellow ones. No, there we go. Okay. We're gonna attempt to talk our way through this, because... As you can see, there's giant blank areas, because it's again been designed that you can double double the whole thing. Alright. Bye, bots. Uh, oh, and they're not set. <laughs> Okay, that's alright. It's alright, 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 alright. We're gonna go right the way back to the start. We're gonna get a tower, and we will put 
one tower here and I think one tower there. That should give us plenty of room, I hope. Uh, where does that output? It outputs on the right hand side. Okay. So to start at the right hand side seems uh, fairly relevant. Alright, we're going to tag that in there. Okay, so going through our list. We need warpers, okay? Uh, we're going to need yellow science because that is our yellow science belt, which funnily enough is not marked at all. Bad jetty, bad jetty. Uh, like you're double marked. Uh, you yellow science. Okay, uh, then we're going to need item number three, which I haven't put in, which will be our juice. There, two, there, two. Oh, uh, we're going to have to use green belt because it turns out I'm out of yellow, uh, which unfortunately is running the opposite direction. So, you know, click, clicky, clicky, and. Uh, nope, there we go. And plug that into. Come on. There. Alright. Uh, so that's going to be juice. Uh, which, you know what? We'll throw in some ships, throw in some ships. Make sure we have a local power connection to the tower and to another build. And we will even turn that on so it starts running. Okay. So then we have, uh, as we can see here, this one's coal. So we're going to need a coal line. So number two, uh, lack of item, not really. Okay, uh, coal, uh, local demand. That's again going to be a little bit difficult. We might just uh, find the other one with coal on it. Cool. Uh, throw that in there. And juice. Just grab. 500 juice out of that one and throw it in there just so the juice line's running. Okay, then that brings us on to oil. So again, we're going to need oil, uh, local demand, remote storage. Grab and have some warpers. Sure. Uh, oil, local storage, remote demand. And we'll just speed it up by you happen to have a lot of oil. So again, we're just going to you know, borrow from Peter, steal from Paul, something like that. Okay. Uh, again, green belt. So, oil. Into there. Okay. First tower full. Done. All right. But, because we got oil, we have some returns. So, oil's going to come down here. It's going to get processed. It has room to double out the refineries to make everything go from two science per second up to four science per second. Uh, at the same time, we've got coal up and running, which gives us energy graphite. Energy graphite is going to wander all the way back up here because it has to, because this is where our juice line is to get juiced, to then wander all the way back down here, to then get uh, crunched into diamonds, to then wander all the way back up, get proliferated, come all the way back down, and pass into actually the labs. But you might notice after it's been turned to diamonds, the belt continues. Because we're not done with plastic, uh, with coal, uh, with energy graphite, rather. It needs to go and visit coal. But before we do any of that, we need to get rid of our hydrogen, which means. Uh, I actually place you closer. I don't think I need a third one. No, not really. Okay. Alright, uh, hydrogen. We're going to tag straight in there. I'm going to set you up for hydrogen. And you should just get rid of the hydrogen. Okay, next up we need titanium, which goes in there and in there. So uh, let's talk about titanium, local demand, remote storage, shippy shippies. Uh, there, 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 and power pole. Okay, and did you not have titanium? Yes. Thanks. Uh, oops. Uh, titanium. Titanium. Okay. Uh, local demand, remote storage. Okay. So, titanium. Titanium comes down here, gets converted into titanium ingots. Again, we have room to... One, two, three, four, five. Just double up the smelters. Technically, it probably should be moved a little bit further this way. But, you know, room for version 2.0. Alright. Uh, titanium comes up here, gets flown into titanium crystal after it goes around titanium crystal stops right here okay so we've talked about titanium we have talked about uh oil ish uh and hydrogen okay 
So, back to our Energy Graphite line. Energy Graphite comes uh, through the Diamond Build. After it finishes the Diamond Build, it already has been proliferated. They already have their little arrows on them. It comes up here, it goes over Refined Oil, which probably should be the other way around, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, it comes down here and it gets converted to plastic. Okay, plastic is Refined Oil plus the Energy Graphite. Okay, little chemical plants down here, which again have room to be doubled. Uh, and we can see that the belts end here, so obviously it should be brought out to here. And, oh. And out to here, you know, we have six, you need 12, double everything. Uh, plastic. Plastic needs to come all the way up here, as does everything else, to be proliferated, to run all the way back down. Proliferating turns out as a giant pain in the ass. Really, really, really complicates builds. Even more so in my particular case, because I'm not using splitters. Like, I could have split the energy graphite after being proliferating and just run it to two different places. But because I didn't, I had to build this near this and also make sure at the same time that, you know, I handle all the proliferation and everything else. So, uh, plastic. Plastic comes down here with water, which we haven't done. Let's go find some water. Uh, back to this tower. We need you to do water. May not be in the network. Tiling may not be in the network. Uh, let's go with number three. Ah, wrong belt. Oh, hang on, you don't have warpers. Uh, okay, let's deal with our warper belt. Our warper belt is fine, because what we're actually going to do is we're going to steal the warpers out of that one and run into there. That saves us a slot. Okay, so you should get warpers in like two seconds. You already have power. So, nope, we've got warper, well, water being imported. Excellent. Okay, so water is going to come down here. Uh, does a quick zigzag. Flows into organic crystals, and then that'll give us organic crystals on this output belt. This output belt obviously has to come back up here, get re-proliferated, because we need that proliferation to cut down on 20% resources every step along the way. And then that is going to go combined with the titanium, give us titanium crystal. Titanium crystal is going to pop out here, and it is going to head down here, finally, finally. And make science. And oh boy, they're all one tile short. They're all too high, when they should be three high. Okay. So, that is the build from scratch, from raw materials, all the way up to final product. It's a nightmare. It is an absolute nightmare to get some of these builds done. And on top of that, you know, we can see we've used five slots here. We've used three more slots here. So, the first one we needed uh, a total of six slots with the juice. Uh, why are those belts not set? Oops. That. That. And set. Ooh. Doesn't feel, fix the fact that we don't have organic crystal, but you know, one problem at a time. Um, so, water. Where's my water? This is getting here really slowly. Uh, well, we need the water to flow, and then we need the plastic to turn, uh, the organic crystal to turn on, to then turn on these guys, to then, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's going to be a minute. Let, let's just give it a minute, I think. Uh, I'd like to see the water here. I'd like to actually see this pump out at least one yellow science, because obviously the other one's not working without organic crystal. So it's been a hot minute. We finally had our water arrive, which now means we're making organic crystal, which is great. Obviously, the organic crystal has to run all the way up here to be proliferated, like I said, which now means we're making titanium crystal, which I do admit there was a boo-boo. These were input sorters. They're now output, so they're now actually outputting. Uh, and we are flowing the organic crystal all the way down here onto our labs, which, again, were only two tall. They're now three tall, which makes me feel a whole lot better about myself. Uh, and flowing all the way up to our return tower, which I've definitely marked that belt, so I'm much happier there as well. I think I want to remark all the belts. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I want to... I'm going to end up re-blueprinting this, and I'm going to mark all the belts on the other side of the proliferator as well as like this is an input this needs to be covered that's an input that needs to be covered uh there instead uh obviously i don't have any um i have any coal because you know there's no coal on this planet uh same time i did put in some storage tanks for hydrogen um i wish i could say i centered them 
Turns out that we have an even amount of tiles between here and here, and no matter what, it was going to be off by a tile, so we just, yep, it's off by a tile. But the storage tanks, in theory, you should be chewing hydrogen fairly quickly, so it shouldn't be an issue. And you can always set these at 90% instead, therefore it gets chosen over something like a uh, Orbital Collector. Um, this will get chosen over an Orbital Collector, but, you know, you can set them 100% as well, that's perfectly fine. Oh, we've pre proliferated our water. We've pre, pre proliferated some of our water. Excellent. Um, so we, you can definitely do that. Uh, at the same time, yeah, it's up and running. But there is a well, actually, no, it's two things I need to come up. If you want this particular blueprint or the previous blueprint, they are both available. Bump, bump. Both available on my Discord server. You'll find a link down in the description. Also, a link on your screen right about now. And if you were to want to double this, okay, you want to run it twice as fast. You didn't want two signs per second. You wanted four signs per second. You'd have to take... I've got slightly more than 15 labs. I only need 15 labs. But you'd have to double up the labs. So double up the height of labs. Uh, go to each smelter. And just drag it out. And double your smelters. Uh, same with the diamonds. Same with the chem plants. So grab a chem plant from the end. Drag it up and double it. Uh, same with the next chem, row of chem plants. Just drag them up and double it. Same with the organic crystal. As you can see, the power poles, the belts, they're all laid out. Same with the smelters. And also, same with the oil refineries. Just grab this and... Where are we? There. Drag it in. Fill up all the tiles. And you're good to go. So, that is it for this particular blueprint. But of course, our original blueprint, it's not really running. Organic crystals we don't really have in stock. Uh, can I burn off that? that please cool so um what i need to do is i need to set up a source of organic crystals which i believe if we head out to the tristan 2 system which doesn't have a name yet we can have the opportunity to name a new planet which is always important because i like thinking those of you who have become youtube members okay those of you who have taken the extra uh the next extra initiative after clicking the like button click the subscribe button which you should have done by now like all i ask if you want to grab these blueprints or enjoy the videos is you click like and if you subscribe you get bonus points trust me uh but out of this planet we have organic crystal at the same time somebody may have already traveled here possibly and set up a power plant so to make my life a little bit easier it should just be a case of Pop you right there. And wind turbine, wind turbine, wind turbine, and power pole. And we should start harvesting organic crystal. Yes. Which also Icarus needs to harvest 10 into his own pocket. It's really hard to keep track of with you guys going and flying off and grabbing organic crystal from everywhere. Really, really hard to keep track of. Uh, yep. Puppet pods after you clean out most of the planet. Uh, but it should be as easy as that. Also, this one has kimberlite ore. Again, not a lot of kimberlite ore, but it also has crude oil. Now, I did cover previously. Dump that in there. Dump that in there. Yes, this is a dump tower. Uh, it's where literally I can put all the things that the bots find. We've got to be getting close to 10. We'll, we'll wait for that to count up to 10. Um, it's where I can put all the things the bots find into this tower and then probably in a later stage set up a remote tower actually brings in plant fuel and logs and converts it into uh, organic crystals because why not? Um, I waste not, want not. Uh, but that's that one done. But as for oil, uh, if I just grab 100 of those. Oil, because the automated power station doesn't actually do oil, we're going to go with the drop one of those in the old fashion. So we put that there. We put that there. We then link you to you. And we bring power from there to there. <coughs> and you're now on the grid. And I'm literally going to have one particular tower that's going to go local demand, remote supply. Uh, bring in warpers locally. Uh, and also have shippies and shippies and that'll be it um, we'll just, no, I will use the big towers um, only for the reason of that means I don't have to carry around the little towers uh, but this is literally how I'm going to end up outposting the oil on this planet um, 
drag my power poles over, throw an actual power pole in here. This one, technically I don't even have to power the tower. Oh, oh clear. Uh, I don't have to power, oh, and I need to set you to local, local. Um, oh, and can I set you to 100% so we don't waste too much power? Cool. Uh, yeah, I, I, I could let each one of these fill up with 10,000 oil at the end of the day. Uh, where's another oil node? Right there. Uh, and in fact, you're close enough. We're just going to throw down another, another one of those and throw in the belt from there to there. Throw a wind turbine from there to there and plug in one of those. So I'm going to, between episodes, uh, definitely take the opportunity to thoroughly cover this planet in as many miners as I can. Also make good use of my dump chest to just load it up with all the crap that we end up finding around the place. Uh, so if your acid can go away, uh, throw that in there as well. We'll burn that off real quick and that's going to be my objective for the next, I don't know, half hour or so. Oh, more organic crystal. Excellent. And yeah, many, many, many advanced miners. It also means that for the planet that we were just on, we should be able to just set up a remote demand for coal. Now we're definitely getting coal from not just the home world, but we now actually have places, uh, off world places where we can grab uh, coal. We should be good as far as that's concerned as well. Uh, can I put one of you there and there? Yep. Game does not complain at all. But this is where I'm going to call it for this episode. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next episode where we've tackled yellow. The next one is going to be, unfortunately, Purple Science. Um, purple Science has a couple of rares we can use. Um, I don't think we have a source of spinner form. But no matter what, we also have to deal with oil because we need to have plastic. Uh, as for the processes, that's iron and copper. And that's iron, uh, that's copper and silicon, so that's not too hard. It's, but it's going to be a fairly sizable build. Anyway, I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the very next episode. All right. Bye.